Okay, so going further with this Jordan Peterson, Matt Dillahunty discussion. Uh, so far, I've only watched clips. I don't believe that the whole discussion has been posted in its entirety. At least I haven't found it anywhere yet. When it is, I will, I will watch the whole thing and I'll talk about it at length. I believe both those voices, both those people in particular, are, are worthy of attention. Matt Dillon and Jordan Peterson, I believe they're both to be respected. And their discussion is worthy of my time and attention. And I will watch the whole discussion and I will comment on it at length. But just taking the little bits that I've seen, one of the main, one of Jordan Peterson's main assertions in his work pops up frequently. As a matter of fact, Ken could be his could be one of his main raison d'etre because he brings it up often and he talks about it a lot. Is that religion as a whole, the idea of a transcendent morality, the the moral underpinnings of religion are not only useful but absolutely essential. They are the cornerstone of Western civilization. They were absolutely essential to our civilization. He brings that up time and time again. Could be the main reason for, for, the, for, the, for the passion and conviction of his work, actually, because as far as I know, now I have never seen him act, actually say that he believes in God or he is a Christian. I've never, I've, I don't know. Maybe he brings it up in this particular debate. I've never seen him say that. I think the main reason for his why he sides with the theist in his passionate defense of religion is because he has a really, really big conviction that religion itself is necessary, that it's foundational to our entire functioning of our society and the moral lessons of, of religion. And he even tries to bring it into the Old Testament. A lot of atheists will argue, you know, the Old Testament's evil, God's evil in the Old Testament, yada, yada, yada. Um, he even does lectures where he tries to find the, the moral underpinnings, the moral bedrock of the Old Testament, too, even in stories like Noah. And his approach is he's more respected by atheists than most because his, his approach is more scientific. And he mentioned even in the, the few brief thing clips that I saw that he has a lot of respect for the for people in the atheist community, particularly people like Sam Harris and Matt Dillahunty. Mostly because they're thinkers or they're very thoughtful individuals. So they're bringing a lot to the table in their dissection of religion. Where he parts ways with them and he parts ways with them frequently and passionately and it is a really deep conviction is that religion itself is essential. Essential. Christianity in particular, religion in general, Christianity in particular is essential as a moral underpinning of our entire civilization. It was a building block, foundational building block. Indeed, you could say the proverbial stone that the builder refused could be the head cornerstone. Religion is a cornerstone of our civilization. That's one thing he brings up time and time again. Now, Matt Dillahunty counters with and gets a lot of applause from, I'm assuming, the atheists in the audience with just because something is useful doesn't mean it is true. And everyone's like, woo, yeah, yeah, go Matt, get him. Now, I already talked a little bit about how that that saying that it is a true statement can be applied to the atheists as well. But let's analyze whether, in fact, briefly, Jordan Peterson's right. Let's just take a little look. Is he correct? Is religion because because you'll get blowback from atheists on just that one point. Matt didn't argue the point. But I'm certain he could, and I'm certain he has other places. He's, I, I guarantee you, I can find, if, if you lined up 100 atheists, I can find 85 of them are going to tell you that religion is toxic, and it isn't a net positive on society, that it's poisonous. And a lot of them, very few of them actually think religion is a net good. They think it's it's negative, and they'll tell you it's toxic influence society, intolerant, hate-filled, yada, yada, yada. Gay hating nonsense, gay hating anti-science nonsense. You know, give them give them twenty minutes and they'll rant you up a storm about how destructive religion is. And if they may even go so far as if you did away with religion, we'd all be better off and society would align itself correctly for once. Hallelujah, no religion, we're free. A lot of them would say that. Honestly, they're they're way way. They are not usually neutral on the subject of religion as, as a positive in society. Usually they are fervently in the camp of no, it ain't, and fervently so. So I'm surprised. I wasn't surprised because I know Matt Dillahunty a little bit, 
in the way he likes to discuss things, and I'm sure he has something more to say on that particular aspect of the subject. But the question on the table. Main conviction of Jordan Peterson's work, one of the main reasons why he goes out and does what he does, is he is passionately convinced that religion is foundational, that it is morally foundational to our entire civilization. And he's, he's dumbfounded and dismayed that intelligent atheists like Sam Harris and Matt Dillahunty, maybe Matt Dillahunty, don't know. I, I didn't, didn't hear him on that yet. But he is dismayed that intelligent atheists war against this, in his mind, truth. Is it true? I've had a lot of 